Hey everybody, so one of the coolest things about being in this new apartment is that I can try new types of videos. And I'm excited because today I'm trying a new video in partnership with Torrid where I'm showing you everything I packed and wore at CurryCon, taking you through the process of packing and then helping you guys kind of see what goes on inside my brain when someone says, style some looks. I hope you guys like it. Links to everything are down in the description box below and let's get going. So I just want to show you this outfit really quick before we jump into the vlog. Uh, mostly because I just love it so much. <laughs> um, because I love blondie and I've always wanted a blondie t-shirt and I was able to get one at Torrid. And then these are just really, really comfortable sweatpants. I am a diehard fan of Torrid's joggers. I have like a bajillion pairs and I wear them all the time. And I didn't have a camo pair and I just got these and I really like them so I wanted to show you them. So uh, one thing I just wanted to point out, when I do these hauls, when I do these try-ons and stuff, some of the items I do get gifted, but some of them I also purchase myself. Uh, like this outfit entirely came out of my bank account because I just really wanted a blondie t-shirt and some new sweatpants. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> so today I am styling looks for KirbyCon. I'm going to KirbyCon with Torrid, which is really, really exciting for me. Uh, this is the first time I've worked with them at KirbyCon and I love the Torrid team. I have a really great relationship with them and they let me be me, which is like the best part of working with them. So part of the challenge or the responsibility of going with a brand to KirbyCon is actually styling the looks that you're gonna wear there. So that requires picking pieces from their collection that is out now, but also thinking about styling them in ways that the average person wouldn't think of uh, so that you can still stand out even though the clothing is readily available. Um, I also had to overnight some jeans because as you guys know, I just moved into my apartment and I, I couldn't find my jeans. <laughs> I don't know where they are. So now I'm gonna work with what I have here to lay out everything. So what I'm gonna do is take the items, lay them out on the floor, which you guys will see, accessorize them, and then I'll bundle them up. So what I like to do is I bundle the accessories in the clothing, so the clothing becomes like a little package. I open the package and there's the item. So you'll see the look laid out and then you'll get to see me in real life next to it and I'll talk about um, <clears throat> why I like each outfit as I go. It's a little bit different than a typical try-on haul. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of different things. I've got some blazers, a t-shirt, some lingerie, some cute pants, a jumpsuit, like a little bit of everything. And I really am trying to push myself to come up with some styles I just don't think I'm gonna see there. So with that, let's like get into styling. And all I'm gonna do is just like film as I style. Hopefully that's okay. So this first look is probably my most solid look. And it's the first look I came up with for actually Fashion Week in general. It's based on the movie Heathers, if you're familiar with it. And what I wanted to do was play with lots of layering, because that's obviously we go into fall really important. I also wanted to play with volume. I wanted some more volume than I typically wear, because I think voluminous clothing is definitely where we're headed. But I also wanted to have something tailored and chic. Also, it's something I don't think anyone else is gonna wear. It's not sexy, it's powerful. And I think a lot of times when I go to these events, a lot of the clothing is very sexy. And I wanted to do something that was very different. So I started with this linen button down just so it was a little bit lighter. And then I found this really cute red cropped sweater that will go over it. So you'll have the shirt coming out underneath. And then also probably pulling this up so you have a little bit of the white um, cuff coming out the bottom and then over top of both of these is this oversized black and yellow blazer and it's really important that it is oversized I did order a size larger than I normally wear so it can be baggy and big and and not fit perfectly tailored I want that kind of loose uh, I care but I don't care look with it I'm gonna wear some dark wash denim and uh, my hair is gonna be in this scrunchie, which is why it's on my wrist. So I can remember to put it on the outfit itself. And then lastly, for shoes, I felt like this called for a little riding boot. So I pulled these little riding boots. I like Torrid's riding boots because they got a ton of stretch and I have ye old massive calves. So these are gonna go right over the jeans and give me this kind of cool, modern horse girl look. <laughs> I don't know. I'm currently debating on whether I wear glasses with it or whether I wear normal makeup, but I definitely am thinking about doing either a high bun, like messy bun with a scrunchie, or like a half up scrunchie vibe. We will figure that all out in the time of the day. So now, magic of camera, we're gonna switch forward to how that look actually came out styled. 
So the funniest thing about this outfit is I wore it for about 30 minutes before I realized it was way too hot to wear for the day. So slowly, layer by layer, I peeled away the outfit to end up in just a white shirt, jeans, and then I moved into tennis shoes because the boots were so hot as well, but I still look cute. It still worked, it still worked. So the next look I have is actually really cool because uh, as part of the evening of one of the nights for KirbyCon, I'm doing a little project with MAC Cosmetics. And in that project, I'm doing a transformation. So I will transform from kind of this geek chic, horse girl look into a bombshell. And there's some surprises with it. I'm not gonna tell you all of them. Actually, it's one surprise. It's not that exciting. I'm overselling it here. But the dress is fantastic. Now, what I love about this dress is it has, and you can't really tell on the hanger. I'm gonna take you off the hanger, boo-boo. If you go underneath, it has like a mesh lining here, so it's very sexy, very bombshell, and it's just beautiful. This is a special occasion dress that Tori just started carrying in their stores, and I'm super excited to bring this alive. So I'll be wearing this at the party that evening and then for that transformation for MAC, which I'm super excited about. I couldn't be more pumped to transform into this dress, and I think it's a really great contrast, while at the same time playing in the same color families as this first outfit. One thing I really like to do when I'm doing transformations is keep the color families the same because it's not the colors that transform you, it's the actual style. So this will be a really, really fun transformation piece and it's just a gorgeous piece overall with all the embroidery. So with that floral embroidered dress, I just grabbed these espadrilles with the braided detail because I cannot be in a super sexy bombshell moment without some bombshell shoes. I like Tory heels because they're really soft so I can actually wear them because I have messed up jack feet and these were just perfect. Um, I might bring, just depending on how my feet are doing, I have a lower pair of Torrid orange rust colored shoes that are very, very comfortable that might be a backup in case my feet hurt. Uh, that just means I have to unfind them, which may be impossible because I don't know where anything is in my apartment right now. It's a bit of a hot mess. <laughs> and now you can see that transformation. So, um, excuse my vanity for a moment, but I look freaking fantastic in this look. Like, I am the hottest. Like, you want to know what a hot girl looks like? You're staring at her. My hair is red because I am on fire. I am pure sex goddess in this look. Next couple outfits I don't really fully have envisioned. So it's a little bit of throwing stuff in my suitcase and like praying it works. So one of them, which is like probably the easiest, I got this jumpsuit. It's like a flight suit, has a zipper down in front, a little tie at the waist, so pockets at the top. And I was thinking, um, because it is like a one and done item that it needed like really strong accessories. So what I'm tentatively thinking here is I love these like gold geometric earrings. I thought those would be fun. And then it's a flight suit, so I felt like I needed some strong aviators or like bold sunglasses. I feel like that could be really fun. And then maybe, and I don't know how this is gonna look in the end, um, I pulled this cheetah print belt because I might want to like dress it up a little bit by putting a belt at the waist. But again, this is all subject to change. So fun fact, my battery died and then I secretly went and did my hair. So if my hair looks extra fabulous now, that's why. Also, I got some deodorant on my shirt and I tried to clean that up too. So I'm just looking at like 50% better in like no time. Well, in your perceived no time. It took me like a half an hour, but you know. Um, so with the jumpsuit, I was thinking these shoes, cause they're magical. So I wanted to tie together the cheetah from the belt into the shoes. These are super comfortable. I can wear these all day and be at peace. So that's part of the reason I'm like styling these shoes. And then this is just a nice way to bring it in to the jumpsuit itself. So that could be a really fun day look for Kirby Con. Uh, something totally reasonable, but still really fashionable to wear while I'm there. So I love this jumpsuit because it's comfortable, but it's also really glamorous. My hair is big because the night before they braided it to put in the wig and I woke up and it was just this perfect volume, put the clips in, which are also from Torrid and threw on some tennis shoes and boom, I was ready to go. Then we have, I wanted to have like a lingerie as outerwear moment. And 
I got really kind of stuck between two options. The first option is this really amazing tartan bralette. Obviously plaid, I'm mad for it. I love plaid. Um, but the problem is it is online, so I'd have to wear some pasties uh, to be able to wear this as a top. The second option, which I think is looking more likely just because it is lined in the bust region, is this amazing bodysuit. It's super sheer, but has this awesome lining. I just think this needs to have a moment. Like this is like my Lizzo at the BMAs type of outfit. This is sex, this is energy. Oh, I feel like, I feel like just like by holding it up, I know that this is what I'm gonna wear, but how I'm gonna wear it, I don't really know. So there's two options. I have jeans coming. <laughs> Hopefully they get, you know, where they're supposed to be in time. Um, and the other option I have here is the skirt. Now I think this skirt made a lot more sense when I was wearing the bralette because I really like the idea of like a fit and flare dress made out of the bralette. But with the bodysuit, I feel like it might just like downplay the sex appeal. I feel like if I do the bodysuit, it's gotta be with some jeans. I do have some flats. Just again, these are super cute with little bows at the top. I just am realistic about the fact that I won't be able to walk <laughs> all day, every day in in heels. So this could be, you know, let the bodysuit be the sexy part and let my feet be the comfy part. Uh, as far as accessories, I think, I think, I have two options for accessories. I feel like the bodysuit itself is just needs to go with earrings. Even with the bralette, I just feel like too much accessory is too much. So this is some tortoise and gold danglies. And then I've got these hoops in the black with the gold. So we'll see how that nets out. I, my brain is fried, my brain is fried. My, my brain is starting to fry because I'm like, what, what am I wearing this with? I feel like this might need a jacket over it. Now at CurvyCon, Turret is giving away jackets, so maybe I just use one of the jackets they give away. Alternatively, I have this one kind of thrown into the mix from one of my last hauls just because I love it so much. It's super comfortable. And frankly, I might wear it on the plane today, um, but this could also look really cute over it because it is like all out there and I might want some coverage at some point during the day. We'll see. I might just be ready to go bold. So I ended up choosing the black bodysuit because I just, that extra coverage made it so much easier. And I paired it with a pair of jeans that are sky high skinnies, which are my new favorite Tora jeans. They're the same jeans I actually wore with the first look, just in a different wash and color. And I just, I love them. Uh, also for like traveling to New York, I'm gonna be wearing these like cheetah print pants. I mean, they're just so comfortable. They're like a jersey knit. And then I'm going to wear this t-shirt. I mean, it's not the perfect outfit, but it works. I feel like when you have a pair of pants like this, everyone's always like, the colors have to perfectly match. They don't. In fact, it's more interesting if there is a little power clash. So I really like this together. That's going to be my airplane look, and I'm, I'm all ready to go to CurvyCon. Now I need to go put this all in my suitcase, along with everything else I need for New York. And I have approximately an hour to get that done uh, before I have to leave for the airport. So <laughs> wish me luck. So let's go get our tour bag packed. And off we go to CurvyCon. <laughs> Dude is like, put me down. Put me down now. Okay, bye bye. Now I have everything in the living room, as you can see. It's all folded up and organized, and now I'm gonna pack, pack it all up. Help! You know that I did not believe in miracles until I packed these bags. I had so little time to do it, and I felt so stressed, and I did it. It took me 11 minutes and 17 seconds to pack everything up. Now I need to get changed, and I need to get to the airport ASAP. And off to CurvyCon we go! Great data. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. I've made it to the hotel. I've also uh, spilled stuff all over my shirt. So crushing uh, my first night here in New York. I am also in a really, really cool hotel, which I did not think it was going to be this cool. That's my little couch. You can see my Diet Mountain Dew. Because you know I've been somewhere when there's a Diet Mountain Dew there. Um, and then it has 
all of this in here. You can see I have some outfits laid out. <laughs> you also know I've been somewhere when there's some press on nails. <laughs> so very on brand and a scrunchie. My life essentials, Diet Mountain Dew scrunchies and press on nails. So I'm on my way to Curvy Con. I've got my lucky scrunchie in. Actually, it's not lucky. I just put a scrunchie in. Um, it's taking forever to get there. I've been in a cab now for like 45 minutes. Data's a doggy daycare, so he could care less where I am. And I'm just excited to like get there and not be in a cab. Also, I've realized that all of my Fashion Week outfits are like an homage to some like 90s icon. This is definitely my Claudia from Babysitter's Club look. Yesterday I was definitely wearing a Lisa Turtle look. And tomorrow I think I'm going to be 1990s J-Lo. So like it's a little... I didn't intend it to be that way, but it's definitely, definitely turned out that way. That for some reason, 90s icons inspired everything I'm wearing this fashion week. So there you go. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. I think both of us are exhausted. What do you think, Dana? Are you exhausted? Um, I've pretty much been living in this onesie <laughs> of all the things in the hall. This is the thing I'm wearing most. And uh, my plans for this evening are to order it in every variety it is available. <laughs> because it's not a heavy onesie, it's the perfect weight. I've been waiting for this day for so many years. And finally I found it the perfect weight onesie and it still has the fun novelty options we all love and adore it's my favorite with that guys i'm gonna end this this is over i'm home now now i'm gonna like sleep for like 18 years <laughs> okay i'm over exaggerating i'm gonna sleep for like at least a solid day and then I'm probably gonna do a second day where I just lie in bed and watch Netflix. And I don't want you to judge me for that because that's living my best life. So with that, Dana and I are out. I almost forgot one like really important thing. Um, remember when I got home and I was like in my onesie, it was like two seconds ago, so I should very well remember it. Um, and I said I was gonna buy every variation they had. Well, um, I didn't buy every variation. But I did buy a unicorn for not only me, but my best friend. So I keep my promises. I keep my promises. <laughs> Bow! So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. I really like making these more vlog style content. And I think it's a fun way to like change it up because hauls can get mm, a little boring for me to be honest. And this is a new way to do it where I just feel more myself. I'm a cheetah. Arr. 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 <laughs> Give me a kiss. No? Okay. Anyway, this is my new favorite thing ever. I look fantastic, don't I? Dana's like, for the love of God, mom, just turn off the camera. <laughs> <laughs>